Hi, I'm Ramon from Dutch Travel Couple and this is the review and unboxing video of the Boya BY-WS1000 microphone blimp. I'm working on a project for a foundation that restores and maintains old wooden sailing vessels. The videos that I make, the foundation uses to educate their people, to tell them how to restore, maintain and operate the old wooden sailing vessels. Making the videos are a lot of wind noise issues, especially making the videos while sailing. I first tried to use a dead cat on the microphone, but that didn't cover it. I still had a lot of wind noise issues. So I needed to find a better alternative. Working for the foundation, I do it free of charge. So I didn't have a lot of money to spend. On the internet I found that a microphone blimp could solve my wind noise issues. I first found the Rode and the Ricotta blimp, but I found these ones very expensive. On the AliExpress I found this one, the Boya blimp, for a very affordable price. I couldn't find a good review of the Boya blimp, not a good English review, but I bought it anyway. So here I am making the unboxing and review video myself. I hope it can be of help to you. I will start with the unboxing of this Boya blimp and after that I will show you how you can use this blimp in a very affordable way using an old iPhone and a small Boya shotgun microphone. After that we will go outside and we see how this blimp performs. Okay, let's start with the unboxing of the Boya blimp. Let's open this box and see what's inside the box. Let's move this out of the box. And here we have the Boya blimp. Also, a carrying pouch and the furry windshield for some additional uh, wind noise protection. Further in the box is a manual and also some additional rubber bands for the microphone shock mount. So now let's put the windshield on. And you have a zipper in this windshield. So you can put this on like this. It's very tight so it doesn't fit easily. Let's make some room so I can show you the Boya blimp a bit better. So let's move this aside. This also. So here we have the Boya blimp. Um, it's possible to adjust the handle in a way that you like. So you can turn this and then you can turn the handle like this. Then you have a great position um, to use or to point the microphone in the direction that you want. You can also move the microphone handle back and forward, or the blimp handle, sorry, unscrewing, by unscrewing this one. Um, I cannot show you the full way forward because the uh, XLR cable is blocking the way to move forward. So I can show you a bit backward. Let's tidy it up again. And you can remove the cover by turning the backside cover like this. And also do the same with the front side cover like this. And then you have two screws, one here and one over here. And you can unscrew them like this. And this one as well. And 
and then you can move this forward there's a bit of friction and that gives you the handle with the shock mount for the microphone so that was the unboxing of the Boya blimp as I promised I would show you how to use this blimp in an affordable way using an old iPhone and a small Boya shotgun microphone so what you need for this is of course the Boya blimp and next to that an iPhone running a voice recorder pro you can find it in the app store you can see now it's also recording my voice and you can see uh, the level of recording here and next to that of course you need the Boya shotgun microphone this is the small one this is the by mm1 you need a tripod hold for your iphone and you need a hot shoe mount to tripod adapter like this and also using a rubber ring to prevent any damage on the microphone blimp first you need to build in the hot shoe adapter and the tripod mount for your iphone to do this you need to uh, unscrew the shock mount then you can put in the hot shoe adapter i will place the rubber ring to prevent any damage on the boya blimp and you can screw this And then you can place this one and then eventually you can place your iPhone in here and then you have the microphone attachment here and we'll put the microphone the Boya microphone in here There you have it. One remark, when you place the iPhone on its back, like shown before, the cover won't fit. Place it on its side, like shown here, and the cover will slide right over. We are here in Vlissingen, a small city in the Netherlands. As you can see, it is very windy, so it's a good moment to test the Boya blimp. The first outside test of the Boya blimp, the iPhone here and the Boya mic here, no cover, no windshield, no furry cover, so let's see how this performs. So now the windshield cover is on, should be sound a bit better now bit less wind noise so now we have the furry windshield on so this should almost uh, remove every wind noise so hopefully it works let's see how this performs Let's also try it out when you move around with the Boya blimp. So the back side. So while we are filming this, there's a seagull uh, sitting behind my tripod. It's very funny, so I will try to turn the camera so you can see it. Any 
comments. Do you like it here? No comments. Okay. We have come to the end of this review. To give you an overview, I will give you a list of what I like and what I don't like about this Boya BYWS1000 blimp. The things that I like. It does eliminate wind noise even in very windy conditions. I also like the price. It's very good value for money and much cheaper than its competitors. Also it is given to you in a complete package. You get everything you need and it feels very solid. The things I don't like so much about this Boya blimp. The XLR cable is not replaceable nor removable without removing one of the ends of the cable. Another thing I don't like about the Boya blimp are the screws of the handle. They break off when you try to unscrew them. So it seems the finish of the product isn't that good, at least with the one I got. Overall I really like the Boya BYWS1000 blimp. If you are looking for something to eliminate wind noise I can really recommend this Boya blimp. I hope you liked this video. Feel free to put some comments in the comment section below. And if you really liked the video, please give me the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.